lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue. And the results certainly speak to him having the right approach. There. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was in the home American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on a highlight, to signate the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps into the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick. tonight. This is a man who won eight consecutive fights on the strength of his knockout power and his devastating submission game. That was in advance of running into Charles Oliveira and Armand Sarukian. But most people believe on any given Saturday night, Benil Dariush can still hang with the best lightweights in the world. Another only lightweight has shown up in his bracket tonight. Control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Oh, nice series of elbows. I'm surprised that didn't cut him open. Gaethje gets pounded, and it's the elbow. Side control, he's pretty safe there. Oh, back to the well with that elbow. That one landed well. Oh, right another down. blow right lands down. on the cut. Critical situation now, he's a bloody mess. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. In one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. 
Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved. Though. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Nice body shot. And another hook landed there by Daryush. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the... Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, nice right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, nice. And now Leather being thrown on both. Oh! Mitch the body there. Oh, big left hook there. Oh. Big moments on both sides in round one. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right. Round two. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Daryush. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. Going in the fight. Hook to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Justin Gaethje. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far, both. Oh, oh he's cut bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Well, we know how crippling just one singular body I shot can be, but he's doing a great job. Big right hand. There's a ton of trouble right now. Oh! Unable to connect with the right. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? It's so dangerous because you're one inch away from getting slept. But he's so comfortable and confident in there. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial arts. Gaethje's left calf now starting to show signs of bruising, so the calf kicks have started to have an effect. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Kickboxing 101. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his massive right knee. Vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Daryush. Oh, another huge knee. And he blocks the shot there. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Left it a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of the side. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly like that. by that one like big that. leg kick. Under 20 seconds now to go. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Daryush. Lands a big elbow there. Ten minutes in the can. 
All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. You need to protect this cut, though. You know he's going after it. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round underway. Oh, inside kick. Leg kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. <laughs> Left hand connection and a right. Darius' shot is blocked. Well, that lead leg is compromised at this point in time, as is his mobility. That bruising is out of control. He wants to switch stances, but he's not as good on the opposite side. So he can try to protect the leg, but then all of his other weapons are not nearly as effective. He's got some questions to answer now. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Gaethje gets back up. Well, now you see some visible damage on him. Oh, oh well disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Just over three minutes to go. Absolutely revolting to look at. I know DC's got only one eye open right now, but I think it's probably time for the referee to call for the ringside position. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, Back to his feet. Good body work with that hook by Doryush. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten a double this trade. And with a throw, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, that calf is just taking an absolute beating. And for someone like myself who isn't necessarily physically tough, I can... Big elbow there lands. Daryush gets back up. Beautiful body kick. I mean, now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout, Benil Daryush. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.